Does the Holy Bible compete with the Book of Mormon? Or are they compatible? Some say the Bible is all we need. Others argue that the Book of Mormon changes or even complicates God's word. But what if that's not true? What if the Book of Mormon doesn't compete with the Bible at all, but instead fills in gaps we didn't even know were there? What if these two books together create a fuller picture of Christ's teachings? One we desperately need today. Stay with me till the end because I'll reveal some eye-opening ways the Book of Mormon complements and even strengthens the Bible. And I'll show you why dismissing either one could mean missing out on deeper truths about salvation, faith, and the role of Jesus Christ. Let's address a common misconception. Grace versus works. Christians have debated this for centuries. Does God save us purely through grace? Or are works required? The Bible seems to offer contradictory ideas. On the one hand, Ephesians 2 verses 8 through 9 says we are saved by grace through faith. But James 2 26 tells us faith without works is dead. So which is it? Here's where the Book of Mormon steps in with clarity. In 2 Nephi chapter 25 verse 33, we learn that it is by grace that we are saved after all we can do. This isn't about earning salvation. It's about understanding that grace empowers us to act and action strengthens faith. Rather than introducing conflict, the Book of Mormon and the Bible work together to reveal a balanced, complete doctrine. And what about Christ's ministry? The Bible focuses on his life and teachings in Jerusalem. But the Book of Mormon adds a powerful new dimension. After his resurrection, Christ visits the people in the Americas, delivering messages about prayer, humility, and unity, echoing but also expanding upon his teachings in the Bible. This shows that his mission was far bigger than one nation or one people. It was global. As I hear the bells in the distance chiming in the background, I felt it was perfect to continue this recording. Then there's the question of the other sheep mentioned in John chapter 10, verse 16. Jesus said, and other sheep I had, which are not of this fold. Many Christians have wondered, who were these other sheep? The Book of Mormon provides the answers. The Nephites or Nephites in the Americas, this powerful revelation shows us that Christ's ministry wasn't limited to the Middle East. It extended across the world. But let's address the elephant in the room. Why do some people reject the Book of Mormon? Many believe that having two sacred texts creates confusion or contradiction. Others think accepting the Book of Mormon would undermine the authority of the Bible. But what if we've been looking at this the wrong way? Instead of seeing these two books as rivals, what if they are pieces of a larger divine puzzle, one that God intended us to put together? The Book of Mormon isn't here to replace the Bible. It's here to amplify it. It clarifies doctrine, expands Christ's teachings, and fills in missing details that make God's plan for us even more beautiful and complete. The Bible in the Book of Mormon don't compete. They complete each other. If you've ever felt torn between these two scriptures or been told they can't coexist, this is your chance to challenge those assumptions and discover the truth for yourself. What if rejecting one means missing out on essential truths God intended us to know? In my next video, 
were go even deeper, exploring more ways the Book of Mormon complements the Bible and why dismissing it could limit your understanding of Christ's missions. Don't just take my word for it. Explore both scriptures for yourself. Subscribe now, follow along, and let's uncover how the Bible and the Book of Mormon together reveal the fullness of God's plan. I testify that the Book of Mormon has softened my heart and changed my life. As a convert to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I was an anti-member, I was a skeptic. It wasn't until I opened my mind or opened my heart. It's another testament of our Savior Jesus Christ. And if you open your mind, my favorite verse, any of us lack wisdom, we can ask of God. That is one of my favorite all-time verses found in James 1.5. And I gotta say, being an anti-member, being a skeptic, somebody who was once against this gospel has found true happiness and joy within these pages. And I say, I challenge you to do the same. If you are unsure of something, ask him. Don't ask your friends. Meet with the missionaries. Meet with those who have authority. Meet with those who are authorized representatives of our Savior Jesus Christ, and you will find the joy and peace that I found through the Book of Mormon along with the Holy Bible.